The best way to see changing leaves this time of year is with a bird's eye view. And today we're gonna do just that by climbing to the top of the Hickory Ridge Fire Lookout Tower in the Deem Wilderness area of the Hoosier National Forest. Now, this tower is 110 feet tall, so that's roughly 11 stories. When you get to the top, you're above the tree line, and it's absolutely beautiful. But it's not just pretty views that this tower offers. There's also a lot of history behind it. So this tower here was built in 1939, and dozens were built in Indiana. What was the point of these towers? Well, in the 1930s, there were a few towers built before that, but in the 1930s, they realized that we were losing our topsoil and that we weren't going to be able to get our forests back unless they stopped all the fires that were starting every spring and fall. Okay. And so they started building these lookouts in order for them to be able to spot the fires early and be able to mobilize the firefighters and put them out. Okay, wonderful. And how long were they in use for? until the 70s, although we're still using them some today. This one? This one is still used today. I've run up with my cell phone high fire danger wow. days just to look around. It, you know, they'll think they see the smoke. Do I have any idea where it was? And I can run up and look. So tell me how this tower has changed since it was first in use in the 40s. The CCC built it, the Civilian Conservation Corps. And at that time it was built, there were 84 different farms here. It wasn't a wilderness at that time. Oh, wow. It was definitely just rural farmland. So the view has totally changed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, what you see now just looks like remote wilderness in all directions. But okay. in those days, it would have looked like just rural countryside. So it's very different. And this was not the only tower in the Hoosier National Forest. No, at that time we had nine. But then they, they started using aerial surveillance. And unfortunately, they tore down eight of the Forest Service towers, and this is the only one left. And they left this one because it's in the wilderness area. A lot of people come and visit, and so it's kind of a destination point for recreation people. Well, I think it's time for me to climb the tower. How many steps do you think I've got to the top there? I think it's 123, so <laughs> but it's worth the I view. can do it, I can do it. Well, thanks so much for meeting us out here and shedding some light. Thanks. It's a very cool tower. Appreciate it. Okay. We're here in the cab of the fire tower. It's the room at the tippy tippy top. It's pretty tight quarters up here, about seven feet by seven feet. And it's where lookout men like Dennis Gowen used to work. Now, Dennis, you used to work at a tower in the Morgan Monroe Forest, right? Okay, and you were just 19. The fall of 1964 was a really memorable fire season for you. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it was a, it was a, a, a situation kind of like last year. Uh, we had had uh, several months of very dry uh, uh, conditions and, and it was windy and the fire danger had become very high. And we spent something like up to six weeks each day in the uh, tower. Every day them, for six weeks up in the day. tower. Yeah. So Dennis, the fire tower that you worked at in Morgan Monroe Forest reopened uh, recently. Well, and, and you love that idea, right, of the fire towers being open again. Why is that? It's part of history. And, and a lot of these young children, they don't know what a fire tower is. And so you know, I would have a dream that all the fire towers in the state of Indiana are rebuilt and open to the public so that the public can see actually what the history of the fire service and how these towers actually protected the forest. Well, Dennis, thank you so much for climbing up the Hickory Ridge Fire Tower and talking with us today. Uh, hopefully it brought back some good memories for you. It did. <laughs> and you've given us a lot to think about next time we climb up and take a look at this gorgeous view.